Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Little Cypress Baptist Church. Good to see you all this morning. It's a great day in the Lord. A few announcements before we begin the worship service or to begin the worship service. You have a uh, your shopper's heart. There is an insert in there other than the, what the normal insert is. Uh, there's this parent-child dedication. It's coming up next month. October 4th, it's on Saturday, October 4th, from 10 to noon, there's a class that will be offered, and then we're going to have the dedication part the next day, that Sunday morning, on the 5th, but there's a full half page there written up about what that's about, and it's just a part of the family ministry, Brother Nick is over that, and, um, and so if you're interested in that, please talk to Nick, and read that, and you can sign up, and it says please call the office, sign up no, more, no later than... Uh, September 21st, so that's uh, two weeks and two Sundays, so there, there are um, some pre-assignment classes, or some pre-class assignments that, that should be, I think my dyslexia is kicking in, but anyway, um, that's what's going on there. Also, something that didn't make the Cypress heart is this evening, after the uh, evening service, prayer service, we're going to have the first Sunday fellowship, and so we'll have sandwiches and chips and drinks and such as that. Um, I, and uh, Laura's not here, but I know she told me that the adult foursome school class, the class that my wife and I are in, uh, are bringing sandwiches. I think adult, adult four and five sandwiches, adult three uh, would bring the chips and drinks, and then adult one and two desserts. So that's, uh, I think, probably a good way to separate that out. If you want to be involved now, please bring something and to come, come along and be involved. So it should be a... A fun occasion, we're, we're going to be singing happy birthday to all the ones who have birthdays in September and uh, recognizing the ones who have anniversaries also in September as well. And uh, there's also going to be a kind of a special surprise It's going to be this evening too. Um, and so that's, just keep a lookout for that as well. Also, um, Fall Fest is not too early to start collecting candy. You've noticed the, uh, all the stores or shelves full of candy. Of course, that's true, 12 months out of the year, but, uh, but it's definitely getting ready for, uh, for the late October celebrations and such. And so um, we'd love to start collecting candy for that, uh, and we are going to collect donations to bring to the church office anytime between now and, of course, October 25th, which I guess October 25th is when the fall fest is. I haven't really uh, put, put the October uh, dates to memory, and I don't know if that's a Saturday or not. But, um, but anyway, that's, that's going to come up uh, pretty quickly before we know it. About seven weeks or so, we'll have a fall festival. Also, uh, do you remember to pray for the church council this evening? We're meeting this afternoon at 4 o'clock and discussing some very important uh, things. So please pray for us as we're going to be doing that. And also, to, uh, do remember to read the other uh, announcements in the uh, Cypress Heart. Uh, we are doing children's and preschool choir. Uh, so that, that's going on. And also... Uh, we are certainly, we're still looking for a nursery worker, and uh, one, or really, we're looking for two, but, but definitely one uh, would, would be sufficient. Uh, so if you are interested in working in the nursery, it's a paid position, and uh, works Sunday and Wednesday as well, so do remember that. Also, uh, in a couple Sundays, on September 21st, uh, we're going to have an auditions for the Christmas musical. It's going to be 4 o'clock. Uh, there are... A number of roles. Uh, it's a Christmas pageant, so there are shepherds and wise men and, and Mary and Joseph and, and uh, baby Jesus and all those all those uh, roles that go into there. Even Simeon and Anna. So there are roles for all ages, from little babies all the way up to uh, senior adults. So I mean, it's, it just runs the gamut. And so if you are interested in that, you can come to the audition at uh, uh, on uh, September 21st. We'll have it in here in this room. And, um, and or you can come talk to me about that, and uh, and we can certainly find a role for you to, to, to play or to be a part of. Um, Mary, Joseph, and Gabriel, I stayed in the uh, in the Cypress Heart. They are singing roles. If you are interested in that role, uh, please come and talk to me personally. I'd love to talk with you about that as well. So Mary, Joseph, and Gabriel. Gabriel is a man, by the way. Okay. And then also, uh, Reach Texas. We're going to be watching a video later on in the service during the offering. And we're going to be bringing that offering and uh, receiving that offering this, this, uh, this month for Reach Texas. Our church goal is 3,000. The state goal is uh, more than that. It's over a million. 
So uh, certainly we'll be um, we're looking out for that. And then, of course, uh, September 21st, lots of things falling on September 21st uh, this month, but they're going to be uh, a chili cook-off uh, after the Sunday evening service. And so uh, that'll be to help out with proceeds for Reach Texas. And uh, we do that every September uh, in honor of Reach Texas. Uh, Natalie has some announcements she'd like to share this morning. let you know that ladies, if you were involved in Secret Sisters this uh, past six or seven months, today is the day that you need to find your sister and uh, let her know that you have been praying for her and let her know, reveal your Secret Sister. We'll restart that again in January, so uh, just make sure you uh, get to your sister. Also, Wednesday nights, uh, we do have a ladies class, which is, right now we're doing the uh, it's an encouragement class, mom's encouragement. Uh, ladies, all ages are welcome. We meet in the dining hall. Uh, we're, during the summer, we took time off to work with the, the kids, but we're, we're started back, so we'd love for y'all to, to come. Uh, I know that in the South Heart, I think it said the painting with prayer. Um, just disregard that. Uh, we haven't officially got that going yet. But make sure you're looking in the Cypress Heart because there are going to be some fun things going on I'm looking forward to. Um, tonight, I know that we mentioned the fellowship meal. If you haven't been to church on Sunday night lately, it is a wonderful time. Preacher uh, uh, preaches now. And we have testimony time, prayer time, corporate prayer. It's, it's just really a, a good time for us to meet. But this is the first Sunday of the month and the fellowship meal, but we're also going to do something a little bit exciting. We're going to have a, a, a baby gender reveal. So um, y'all, you will want to uh, come and join me with that. Invite everyone for that. It's, it's a nice special surprise, and so come for that. And uh, there's going to be a baby gym reveal, and we'll share with you who, who the parents are uh, this evening. Let's all stand up and let's greet each other this morning in the name of the Lord.
be great today. Can we pray that good? Here we go. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us today. We worship you with our whole heart. And you, Lord Jesus, are all the things that we sung about and many, many more. Father, we thank you for sending us your son, Jesus. Lord Jesus, for sending your spirit to live within our hearts as born-again children of God as we turn to you in faith. Repented of sin and been saved by a work that only you can accomplish. We praise you today and thank you for that. And we ask, Lord, that this time that you would help us to focus on you because you are everything we need. You are our direction, our hope, our life, our breath, everything that matters. You took all of those things away. What would we be? Lord, we acknowledge you. Father, we acknowledge you as our God. We submit ourselves to you and we ask that your will and purpose, purpose be accomplished in our life. Not as we would resist you in anything, but as we would wholeheartedly submit ourselves to you in love. Father, if there's someone here today who has not yet responded to your call to receive your son Jesus. May they understand the incredible gift of love that you have given us. May they receive Christ today. Lord, for those of us who are already walking with you, not because of any good thing we've done, but because of the completed work of Christ that we have responded to. We pray that you would help us not to be selfish with that good news. We would not be fearful. We would speak truth to people knowing that without you, they're just as hopeless as we were. Not their fault in the sense that they are intentionally possibly running from you, but many just don't know. Lord, help us to do our part. To spread the good news. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then the part of the sing song called our Remember the Day. I want to tell you this story when I uh, first got this off the, uh, off the I guess off the, uh, off the, out of the library, the shelf of the library, they looked at the song for a while back there. Um, I wanted to look this song up because it seemed like a fun song, I played through it, I hadn't really heard it before, and it came from the 1980s, a group called The Hoppers, uh, it's a Southern Gospel song, and, um, but anyway, I found them on YouTube, and this is interesting, uh, the, this group, it was a quartet, two men, two women. The women had hair that was as large as, let's just say they'll ride with Dolly Parton's hair. Uh, they took the shade, the girls that, of uh, Saved by the Bell, if you've ever seen that show, that big hair, this is much bigger hair. So so anyway, it's, uh, but it, they, they just looked really dated. And uh, the guy came out, the tenor of the group, and he said, I remember the day that the Lord saved me. And they started the music. And I just wanted to, that's the way he announced it. He just seemed so excited about that. And of course, he had good reason to be excited. He remembers the day that the Lord saved him. Isn't that wonderful? To know, to be excited about. But anyway, it was Southern Gospel emphasis on Southern. I don't think it would be nearly as Southern as they are. I don't think it's even possible. So anyway, it's a song called, I Remember the Day. <laughs> 